Oh my god, did you see the guy lit <laughs> himself on I, fire? I, what do you think of that? I oof. I I got see, I got so many spicy memes, but I'm not sure I should though. say them. Oh my god. I don't I don't care. I didn't even see the video. But I got a, I got a lot of spicy stuff. I think too, it was but a, I, I'm also sitting on it because I I need to know more about it because it happened. Uh, I'm like, gonna go. I'm gonna go full edge lord. Okay. Two hours ago. Did what I saw. I didn't see the video <laughs> yet, but uh, I saw a picture. I saw a fiery uh-huh. but mostly peaceful protest. <laughs> That's horrible. But I can't help but laugh. Like it's funny. Oh, I got another know? one too. But it's so edge lordy. I can't even say it on air. I don't think I might get in trouble. YouTube might care about the <laughs> this other one I got in my head. But I told some real life friends. I have to sit on some of my thoughts too, because I, I I just feel like I need to know more about it. I did read his uh his post, which I I actually agree with a lot of what he says, except I don't agree with like a lot of the main thrust of what he thinks should happen. Um, I do he he actually points out very much uh, to my agreement that both the left and right are nonsense and sort of just distractions used to keep people fighting with each other. But then he killed himself, so... You know what? I don't... If it's comedy, it's if it's it's clearly comedy, I'm not going to get in trouble if I say the other thing, right? I mean, Uh, you could say the whole in Minecraft thing, I guess. I don't know. (laughs) Okay, this this is... Obviously, I'm edgelording here. It's a joke. One less Trump voter in November. Pour one out for this firebrand patriot. But obviously, I disavow people lighting themselves on fire. I don't think that's a good way to make your views heard, whether it's for Trump or I don't Palestine either. or whatever. Plus, like, I, the guy... I don't really... The guy who... The, yeah. yeah just... mm, no, go ahead. I uh, No, um, never mind. I was going to say, nobody even remembers <laughs> the the Palestine guy's name, but then I actually remembered his name as I was saying that. I was about to say it, and I'm like, oh, well, I guess that's not true. But... But don't do that. Don't. But, but you know what? In six months, I won't know that guy's name. I only know it because it just uh, happened like two weeks ago. Or three weeks I, ago. I remember his name, but I remember his name because I covered that saying that this was not an effective form of protest. Well, what, uh, that's what is, the reason I remember his name. What's happening in our society? Why are people... They've got this far left person lighting themselves on fire for Palestine. you got this mm-hmm. far right... I don't know if he's far right or not. you got this He Trump actually guy, wasn't. He's pretty, uh, I think both sides of it he wanted I, I don't a revolution even know, i don't even know actually i think the was the palestine guy far left or no uh yeah he was far left okay so you got a far left guy and then you got a a trump guy both burning themselves and killing themselves in horrible ways publicly this didn't i don't remember this being a very common phenomenon in america prior to well this year i guess what happened i think we're living in a uh uh, to quote the man who just burnt himself to death today, we're living in a totalitarian, totalitarian death cult. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like um, there's a lot of pessimism, a lot of black pill going on. There's a lot of people who think that there isn't really a way forward. Uh, this is also the crux of why I've, I'm doing the work that I'm doing on trying to sort of lead people away from the left-right dichotomy. Um, The left and right just end up leading you basically to these points. Like, you want to talk about horseshoe theory, if we're talking about a far-left guy and a a guy who's protesting uh, the Trump thing, like, we're kind of horseshoeing here a little bit, in my opinion. Uh, We're kind of doing the same thing. We're getting more and more extreme, and then we're getting more and more similar, you know? It's, uh, I don't know. It's... We're looking at a situation where I think the left and right have both shown that they don't really lead anywhere. They 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 kind of lead to they're they're both roads to nowhere, and then everybody shows up at nowhere, and they're all mad, and they I guess kill themselves. I don't know. I, I I think that it's a sad state of affairs, and I think that I think that they're getting to this point because it's a sad state of affairs. And they're not act- and people are not being given, um, and there's nowhere to take it. Uh, there's no, there's no power. There's no people don't have any power. We're just kind of being, you know, managed by the elites, and they, they, they don't act like they, they say they don't hate us, but they act like they hate us. So it's, it's, I don't know. I, I think that everybody's getting negative for that reason. Like they've just been shown 
various, like over the last 10 years, Trump, Bernie Sanders, Obama, Hillary Clinton, we've been shown a ton of different quote unquote directions that we could go in. And we've seen the result of all of them pretty much. Like we saw Obama two terms, Trump one term, Biden, an extension of Obama, probably how Hillary would have governed. We've seen that. Uh, we've seen Bernie Sanders pretend to be at anti-establishment and then throw all of his weight behind Biden. Well, I think all Bernie the- did the right thing, to be clear. But I do want to address something from chat once you're – once you because I – Sure. Chat's, chat's saying we got something wrong earlier. Go ahead. All right. Um, yeah, I'm fine with that. But uh, I feel like – We've been shown that all of these things lead to the same place. And I think that that's making people very negative because they don't see any other paths. There are other paths, I think. I I don't know that we necessarily know exactly what they are or agree on them yet. But, um, yeah, I feel like it, it just, to a lot of people, it feels like there's nowhere to go from here. Okay, so chat. Someone in chat says that that um, at the time of his death, he denounced both Trump and and Biden, I guess, or both sides. Uh, you okay. read his manifesto. Was he no I did, longer yes. a Trump voter at that time? Well, I, mean, I guess I he's don't... not because he's not going to vote in November, right? But <laughs> but, but uh... <laughs> no, he's definitely not going to vote for Trump. Well, that's true. Um, I don't know. He denounced both sides, but I don't know. I don't know. He really got. He went in hard on cryptocurrency, calling it a Ponzi scheme. And I just, I, I don't see that as the main problem at all. And he seemed to think that it is the main problem. Um, I don't really know how to take that exactly. Is that left? Is that right? I don't know. But yeah, I, I think, uh, I think he kind of, like I said, I feel like he saw every path and doesn't really have doesn't really feel like there's a tomorrow. I think that's why this stuff happens. I do think that, yes, that's kind of what people are seeing when they're denouncing Trump. Um, even, you know, from the perspective of denouncing Biden, they they feel like there's not really a path forward. And that's why I think this kind of stuff is happening more. I think, I think he's not completely wrong when he says we live in a totalitarian death cult. It's just I don't think that he's right about... Well, exactly the wording for one. And also, I, I hesitate. I think, how? How are we in a totalitarian death cult? It's not let, like we live in a completely totalitarian society. There are a lot of freedoms afforded to us, but I think they're afforded to us along with certain coercions that make them not really freedoms. But you can't easily argue against the idea that it's not a freedom as well. Um, it's, it's kind of a cluster fuck. Uh, sorry. Am I supposed to curse or no? I don't care. Just don't use the N word because YouTube will, YouTube will uh, take it down. Ah, dang. Cause that's where this was going. Darn. It was, it was going to land on the N word and I wasn't going to say it once. You can, you can say, say N word, but you can't say the word itself because I'm, jo- I'm joking, obviously. Um, <laughs> sorry. That was probably inappropriate for me to say. I was going to say the N word a bunch of times. Um, what was I saying? I was saying, uh, I do think, I think that we live in a time where we feel as though there's no options. I think that there's a lot of people that are taking the black pill 